Voila, 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 there's a potential Eurovision winner that was amazing, that absolutely slayed. She is the queen of rehearsal, Barbara, Barbara. That was amazing, y'all. France just tore it up. Should we talk about it? Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do this. this. Suzanne, France had what may be the best rehearsal we've seen this entire Eurovision Song Contest. It was so big and so grand, and yet it felt like she was speaking just to you. It was intimate. This is about a woman stepping out of the shadows, so she is in the shadows. She grows in confidence throughout this performance. At one point, there are beautiful effects of birds emerging from her shadow. It looks like they're flying at you, and yet it doesn't feel cheap. So often, effects like that feel cheap. This felt beautiful and elevated. It was just amazing when she hit the climax where the camera shakes and she's like voila 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 and then she shouts voila and in that shout she has arrived and I think she could arrive and finish on the top of the podium at Eurovision. This was visually beautiful. She sounded great. She looked great. It's the total package. France, France would be a very deserving winner. And after 44 years, perhaps the win belongs to France this year. So, Voila has been in my top 10 since I watched it. Very different from the initial video, but OMG, I was not expecting something that just seemed so modern after watching the initial video. I love the bustier top, her beautiful shoulders. This is a woman that truly needs no staging. She needed nothing. I did love the bird effect though, and it was well done. That voice, and this probably sounds incredibly cliche, but the entire performance was just very French. Um, through the very end, just the climax leading mm. up to that last voila. I think that's a compliment, you know, it really showcases mm. what so much, so many of us love about French culture. It, the beautiful language, the passion, you know, the enthusiasm for the arts, for self-expression, these ideals that, you know, we, we have connected to the French identity. I thought it was fantastic. She's a beautiful symbol. She has Serbian roots. She has French roots. She has uh, Iranian Persian roots. She's got a lot going on and I think she's honoring all of her heritages beautifully by being this icon that she is. This. This and Bulgaria were my two tens of the year, and on staging, they both maintained tens. I think the two of those songs are the emotional winners, and I think Malta then challenges with the happy vibe. It's a totally different vibe. If I had to bet at this particular moment, it's France v Bulgaria, and maybe leaning towards France. It had the highest or the loudest applause in the press room that we've heard this entire time we've been here. It did elicit the most applause and it was deserving. That's really all I have to say. Other than that, I wish we had had the opportunity to see a second run through. We only saw France once. Barbara, je t'aime. Il y a longtemps que je t'aime. I think you are such a deserving queen. I, I am so excited and happy for you. Thank you so much. Merci bien. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.